Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about the four common mistakes most private trainers are making with their training business. All right, so I'm going to pinpoint four common things that I see when I talk to coaches every single day. All right, the first one is most coaches don't have their clients on monthly subscriptions. Now, if you don't have your clients on monthly subscriptions, it means that you're not going to have stable income coming in every single month. So if you're a trainer who is currently operating your business in a cash type model, which means parents are paying you cash every time they train with you, then I assure you, you won't be in business for very long. Okay? Because what happens is you leave your clients in charge of when and where they pay you okay so for example if you guys have agreed you and your client has a, have agreed that Thursday at 5 p.m. you're gonna have a training session together and on that day it snows or there's wind there's rain and your client texts you and say and she or he says to you uh, we can't make it because they can't be bothered to show up what happens is you don't get paid for that day Right, so having a monthly subscription eliminates that problem because ultimately what happens is parents are paying you for that training session and then you are in charge of when uh, of when that session goes ahead and if you have to cancel you're in charge of making that session up right if you operate a cash model essentially your clients are in charge of this the business right they're in charge of when and where they pay you the second mistake i'm seeing is there's no contracts in place with clients so what we do at our company is we teach coaches and trainers how to build contracts in their business so that any new client that comes in has to sign a contract that they agree to the terms and conditions of the program now when you don't have a contract in place that means essentially there's no standards within your company, right? Your, your parents and your clients essentially can do whatever they want. If they want to show up one, one week to your session, they show up. If they don't want to show up, they don't show up, right? If they want to pay you, they pay you, okay? They run the business for you, right? When you have a contract in place, you have terms and conditions that the player must meet. Right. So they must show up on time. They must give 100 percent. They must uh, be positive in every training session. They must listen to you. Right. They must uh, behave properly. OK. So in that contract, there's the expectations of the player and there's also the expectations of the parent as well. And that is something that uh, we get our coaches to create so that when they get new clients, those clients sign and agree to the terms and conditions of that uh, program now if you're if you don't do that in your business then essentially you're going to have clients that are going to become become ultimately in the long term bad clients because they're going to be able to do whatever they want in your business right and you're not going to have anything to back up their behavior right so if for example they just they decide not to pay you for whatever reason and you don't have a contract in place you can't go back to them and say, right, you have signed this and that you've agreed to pay me or pay our company on this set day, set time. OK, so. That is one thing that a big mistake a lot of trainers have in their business, right? There's no contract in place. The third one is commitments, right? Long term commitments, something I see with a lot of trainers in, in, in this industry is they don't have their clients in their business for long, right? They don't have three, six or 12 month commitments, which means that ultimately this, they're, they're operating their business on a week to week basis. So Sunday night, they'll text all the clients that are on their list. Hey, Mrs. Jones, this is coach Leo here. Uh, I have these times available this week. Would you like to train with me? Miss Jones gets back, says, yeah, sure. Uh, 5 p.m. on Thursday is great. Perfect. We show up on Thursday. Mrs. Jones shows up. You have your training session. They pay you and done. 
Okay, that is not a proper professional business, and that's not how you get to six figures. Getting to six figures means that you have clients on a month to month basis, and you've got clients on a commitment which is either six, 12, or minimum three months if you want, right? The coaches we work in currently, we encourage them to do at least minimum six month commitments. The reason is because if you have clients that are showing up once a week to your training, okay, that's essentially four training sessions per week you're doing, which means they're going to get great results. They're going to start to build a relationship with you, right? You're going to start to have an influence on them, a positive one. And also, once clients are in your program for long and they start to see results, they start to love it, they start to enjoy it, they will start to refer other uh, like-minded uh, clients or, or parents to your program okay so you can't do that if it's week to week right because week to week essentially builds no commitment because parent if they don't want to show up one week they don't have to if they want to show up one week they can right but when you have them on long-term commitments and and on a contract right there's no excuses they have committed to your program they have committed to paying you this date every single month right and there's essentially the ball is in their court right they've committed it's now their responsibility to show up okay now the fourth one is most trainers underprice and undervalue their service so something i see in this industry is a uh, trainers are afraid to charge more for what they offer. Because a lot of them think that if they underprice their competitors, they're gonna get more clients. But the reality is, that's not going to happen, okay? If you are the cheapest in, in town, okay, you're gonna attract cheap clients. When you attract cheap clients, you're gonna have a massive headache every single day go into your training sessions, right? Because you're going to be working with clients that essentially don't want to be there. Okay, you're going to work with clients that are going to show up when they want. You're going to attract clients that even though the service is cheap, they still don't pay you for the service. Okay, and it's ultimately a really bad experience. Now, if you have a premium type of service, then you're going to attract premium type of clients. But what a lot of trainers don't know how to is they don't know how to value their service, right? They don't know what type of service they're offering and they don't know what problem they're solving for the player. So I speak to coaches every single day and when I ask them, what problem do you solve for your clients? A lot of them say, we provide high quality training. Okay, that's fantastic, but so does your local competitor. They have fantastic training as well. But what specific problem are you working on? Is it the confidence side? Is it... Uh, injury prevention is it the technical side is it skills right what's what problem are you solving is your client not getting enough playing time on their team so you're trying to get them up to the next level so that they can essentially become a, a starter on their club team right what problem are you solving for your clients and when you don't know what problem you're solving okay you're not essentially going to be able to charge a premium and a higher price for your for your service okay if you need more help get in contact with me there's two ways to do that visit my Canonly link in the description we can set up a free 15 to 20 minute call where we can jump on zoom i can ask you some questions and show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale your business if you don't want to do that send me an email to make money coaching sports at gmail.com I respond to every single email I get. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.